The company Empel, with plants in Austria and Germany, has produced superstructures and trailers for more than 65 years. The special feature of Empel vehicles is that every vehicle is planned and manufactured exactly according to the customer's request. Consequently, all requirements of the customer concerning operator friendliness, ecological operation, longevity, and quality are compiled with. Empel is active in three different sectors. They produce both civilian customized vehicles as well as logistic products and firefighting vehicles. Annually, about 2,000 vehicles leave the Empel plants in Austria and Germany. The customized vehicles from Empel are planned right into the finest details by experienced staff of the company's own research and development department. The consideration of the specific customer requirements thereby has top priority because every customer should receive his perfect vehicle. In collaboration with the engineering office and the production, Experimental values are exchanged, projects discussed, and concepts refined. Already in the project development phase, in other words, long before a tender invitation, Impel engineers are at the customer's side providing advice for the design and realization of the specific requirements. Recently, Impel developed a command semi-trailer of superlatives for the Kuwait Fire Department, a product full of innovations, full of technical refinements. This communications vehicle from Empel serves the coordination of the most difficult fire brigade missions, larger events, and catastrophe management. Quality from Empel for the quality of your mission. The entire body consists of high-tech, insulated panels, and is equipped with a special air conditioning unit, as it is found in modern tourist buses. The command semi-trailer is accessed over a telescopic ladder which leads directly into the heart of the vehicle, the command room. There, the latest high-tech equipment guarantees a reliable, secure, and smooth coordination of the mission. Heart of the command room is the control and switching unit. This is used by starting and monitoring the generator, for operating the air conditioning system, for controlling the antenna and light mast functions, the tank capacity, the battery condition, and for monitoring the room temperature. In addition, there are the displays of the roof-mounted indicators for wind direction, wind speed, outside temperature, and humidity, as well as the monitor that shows the images of the roof camera. This camera, which is mounted on the pivoting, inclining head, is operated by a controller in the command room. It can turn through 360 degrees, is inclinable, and equipped with a zoom function. Further important equipment elements in the command room are the GPS system, the shortwave and mobile radio devices, as well as the marine radio. Naturally, portable headlamps, GSM mobile telephone, PC and printer can also be found in the two-man workspace. From the command room, the mobilized forces enter the spacious and friendly designed conference room. Thereby, a viewing window between both rooms also enables the nonverbal communication. In the conference room, on the cushioned rotating chairs, there's adequate space for eight persons around the high quality conference table. A laptop connection is provided there, as well as two-way intercom system to the tractor head, to the kitchen, and to the command room. The exceptional features, however, lie in the detail. The drinking water cooler built into the wall cabinet, the plasma monitor with self-adjusting satellite receiver system. The highly modern multimedia system with Dolby surround, DVD, video and CD player, and not to forget the integrated refrigerator. No wish is left unfulfilled. The longer the mission lasts, the more important are naturally the hygienic aspects. Here too, everything has been thought about. Shower, vacuum toilet, as well as wash basin with underbuilt cabinet and mirror. Of course, all measures for the physical well-being have also been provided. In the modern kitchen, besides the wash basin with under table boiler, the refrigerator, the two saran cooking plates, and an ice cube machine, there is sufficient space for the storing of food. The two-way intercom system fitted there ensures fast and interference-free communication between kitchen, command room, conference room, and driver's cab. In the restroom, furnished with bed and wardrobe, 
Exhausted mobilized forces can recover in turns from the exertions of a mission. The Empel Command semi-trailer convinces not only through the well-conceived interior furnishing, on the outside too, from the functional design through the labor-saving equipment elements, nothing has been left to chance. A pneumatic telescopic light mast ensures for large area surrounding lighting. Accordingly, nothing stands in the way of missions during diffused light or in the dark. The pivoting and rotating light mast is operated by means of a switching unit mounted externally, just as the antenna mast, which is mounted at the rear of the semi-trailer. Here, there is also a ladder for climbing onto the roof. When not in use during a mission, the antenna itself is fastened to the roof in front of the air conditioning unit and can be easily mounted on the antenna mast in no time at all. After the antenna cable is connected and the antenna has been aligned on the rotating mast, the radio contact can be established. Also mounted on the antenna mast is a camera that is used for surveying the external surroundings. The associated monitor and the operating panel for controlling the camera are located, as stated earlier, in the command room. Altogether, the antenna mast, together with camera, can be extended to 15 meters, through which a wide area survey of the surroundings becomes possible. Also on the roof, the devices for measuring the wind speed and wind direction, a GPS and satellite antenna, as well as the antenna for a marine radio and short wave radio equipment are to be found, which can be simply mounted on the roof manual. Fitted at the side, easy to open panels conceal the fresh water tank with water level indicator, the water pump, as well as the wastewater tank and sanitary tank. At the left side, in addition, there are the battery boxes for the emergency power supply. After the semi-trailer has been inspected and checked over once more in precise detail by the Empel Quality Department, the vehicle is ready for the delivery to the customer. A further superlative high-tech vehicle leaves the Empel plant. The training on the vehicle takes place, as always on the site, directly at the customer. Now nothing stands in the way of a successful mission. Communication vehicles from Empel, a well-devised concept a well-thought-out technique, a must for every successful mission. <laughs>